Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good evening to you. God bless every single one of you. I do appreciate y'all for understanding me taking a day or two off. It was very well needed with the whole family. So thank you so much for your patience. God bless you. I love every single one of you. Uh, also, I have a very important message uh, for those that follow me every day. Uh, and for those that don't want to uh, know anything but the weather, I do have some of you out there as well. I will put a timestamp uh, in the top of the description. That way you know either where to go to the message after you get the, the weather information you need or to where you know where to stop and click off because you don't want to hear it. And I understand that. God bless you. Uh, we are in our end time season, so I do hope that you do take the word of God seriously. Because once that door closes, it will be closed for good. So bless you all. I hope you go that way. Uh, I am showing also that we have some anomalies. The one that we're getting now, of course, is not no big problem. It's, I think it's at 20%. I'll show you that later. Uh, it's just going to be a fish storm. It's going to go out there in the Atlantic. And it even has a chance to be a good tropical storm. Uh, but I did check, and it's not going to be a hurricane. We also have some significant snow event that is going on tonight into tomorrow morning. And we have tornado uh, watch that we need to watch out for as well as well, some heavy and severe weather. I will go through this. Uh, do me a favor. If you've never been here before, hit that subscribe button. I usually <laughs> upload every day. Uh, also, I, I also do a video every afternoon for updates because we all know weather changes very quickly, especially 12 hours later. Now, this right here is your potential anomaly of velocity of what we can get in our region. And our region is the 60W. This is us down here for the Caribbean. This is where we read for the potential velocity that we get. And as you can see, we still have an issue because it's coming around the 27th. It's going to be strongest around 27th, but it looks like it might drag out a little bit later. Now, in my opinion, that could be very well the 20% disturbance. That's going to be a tropical storm and then fade away, but it's going to be into the Atlantic Ocean where it's not going to be a problem for anybody. Uh, maybe Bermuda. So we got to keep an eye on that. Uh, also, I've been following also for a long time uh, that we still have, this is our anomaly on the 27th. We still have our anomaly for Christmas time, guys. I'm still showing we have a velocity, potential velocity uh, issue around Christmas time. And it looks like it's separated into, you know, different entities of, of energy, but still so far away. Uh, who would know? But this is not like running a model run. Uh, where you're like, oh, that model so long away. This is actually the EPS potential velocity, and it's pretty accurate. This has been showing this for about two weeks now, a little over. So I will stay on top of that for you as well. Now, this is your tropical depression possibilities. Of course, this is within 72 hours. As you can see, we have the possibility of where this uh, storm is going it's going to atlantic and it's even going to be strong and you also see there's some in the pacific that's going west but there's a problem down here headed towards central america as well and i will keep my eyes on that for y'all matter of fact spaghetti o show uh, not only do we have an issue that could come off of florida south carolina georgia and form up into a low low pressure system and then go to the east coast we could have one later that forms up and comes across the caribbean uh and goes towards Jamaica, Cuba. Then it dives back south because they're probably dealing with cold, cold uh, weather. We have a bunch of uh, fronts coming through. I will stay updated on that also. Now, in 96 hours, you can see it does strengthen right here in the Atlantic. And when you get to the five days, it gets very strong. So, a good chance that that will become a tropical storm. I'll show you that. Also, down here, the depression gets very strong uh, of, of a possible depression down here going towards. Uh, Central America, it could be problems for them down there. But as you go further, you'll see that this one over here stays stronger in the Atlantic, way stronger, and the one down here by Central America actually starts to weaken up as it moves. You see that? But also I'd like to point out that in the next 10 days, I do not show a tropical depression anywhere for the states. So whatever becomes uh, soon out of what I do show, it. It probably will be something later and be a coast storm and move away. Hopefully, we will see. Now, when I check for a tropical storm, you can see the only thing that becomes a tropical storm is the one that we're looking at, Atlantic, uh, 72, 96 hours away. It starts strengthening. Five days, it starts weakening and go away. And you don't see any more 
anywhere for a possibility for a tropical storm. Now, this is the anomaly I was talking about. Uh, this is from NOAA. It has a 20% chance, but like they say, uh, it has strong upper level winds that are expected to limit additional development of the system. Uh, but, the, but the low merges with a cold front on Tuesday, and that's what really affects it bad. But later in the week, it could be separated from the front. It could become something out here in the Atlantic. Either way, we got to watch for Bermuda. That's the only people that's in the, uh, the, the path of this track. Now, when I go over the 31 members so we can see exactly what could happen as far as these anomalies, you can see the pressure system in the Atlantic. It's not going to be a worry except for Bermuda. Bermuda, I will keep up to date on that and update you. But I'm not sure it's going to be for anybody else on the coast. But if you check uh, right here, you'll see the anomaly here for this member on E11. You also see it on E6, E22. E27, E21, E18. Shows that something does start to build up. You can see it real good right here on E27 before it even gets across the states. But it actually, something could build for a low pressure system. We just got to keep our eyes on it because something could come out of that. Uh, I am showing that there wasn't a tropical depression possibility within the next 10 days. So there's a chance that that will be nothing. Uh, it's not a lot of a uh, member showing it, a lot of them are showing, matter of fact, that it is just a system moving, maybe subtropical, but nothing really serious to worry about. And yes, I know a lot of you wonder if that's even going to be a hurricane out there just for giggles. And if you look, there's not even a chance for any hurricane <laughs> coming out of that system that does go to the Atlantic. So I did check for you. Now, as we go through the SpaghettiOs, you'll see that this anomaly goes towards B Bermuda. Most chances show that it will be either south and east of Bermuda, or it could be even slightly closer. Uh, it would be stronger if it gets away. It depends if it gets detached from uh, that cold front upper level, upper level winds that does grab hold of it. We have to see what that does, but the only one that would have a problem out of this would be Bermuda. Now, when you get closer towards eight or nine days, it is a ways away, and I do agree, but you, this is what the, uh, the cyclones were picking up as far as a possible tropical depression that could be forming down here. And not only could it not only be forming down there, if you watch it, it does grow strength when it gets about eight days away, almost nine days, but it actually, instead of going towards Nicaragua, it skins by and it goes towards Cuba, maybe the Cayman Islands, maybe uh, the coast of Western Jamaica. You need to keep your eyes open for that. But as you see, it beads back down. Then you have a couple more that shoot out down there. So we do got to keep our eyes open. The season's still not over yet. I'm sure y'all all know that. Now this is the section here that you see that is being picked up by NOAA. This I showed you what's going to happen out of that. Uh, also, this right here, we have thunderstorms that's going to be popping up within the next 24 hours. Now when we get to two days, which is next 48 hours, you see it starts to become heavy and becomes an issue for Oklahoma City. So be aware, there might be some flash flood warnings that are going to pop up tomorrow for whatever weather does pop up. Now, I do have a high-resolution radar. I will show you what goes on with that. But once again, that's only 18 hours. It won't show you this in 48 hours. And again, in three days, this is where the storm system is going to be moving across the country. And it's going to cause even more of an issue because I show that we do have a probability of 5%, which is a 2 out of 10 uh, chance uh, for tornadoes in this area that you see here, anywhere in the tan. That's in three days. I will stay up on it. You know I will. I just want to inform you that there will be a pro uh, probability for tornadoes in that area. We just need to stay up on it. Now, the system that's moving through now, and as you can see, that uh, Dallas County is getting one inch of snow. Uh, let's see. Clark County got 0.8 inches of, a, of snow and... Uh, Apanus, you're getting 0.5 inches uh, of a snow, okay? And that's just for Iowa. That's it. And then now as this system moves through, we do have a kind of a snow event that's going to be happening. It's going to be happening for Iowa. It's going to be happening for uh, Wisconsin, northern Illinois. And this right here is at 2 o'clock in the morning. And the dark blue is the heavier snowfall, which would be more around 2 inches I will update that in the morning to make sure. The pink is the freezing rain, just so you know. 
And then as it gets heavier and moves through, which if you ask me, is starting to bow out. So he probably might even have some damage in winds, maybe 40 uh, miles per hour wind gust, maybe a little higher coming with that. But it is pushing it out. It is bowing it. I will stay up to date on that. I just want to let you know what's happening in the future, of course. And then for the last few shots that we have from uh, high resolution radar, shows Michigan getting into the snow. It shows northern Indiana uh, getting into the snow. And then this is going to be moving north, of course. It's going to be going straight up north uh, towards northern Wisconsin. Now, Minneapolis, I did show that you do have an event as far as some freezing rain and some ice that's going to be happening. That's what you see in here with these colors. So be careful if you are traveling because you are going to be getting a, a pretty significant ice event and freezing rain up there uh, from this same system that's going to be moving. So be aware. Look at that big bow on it. Now, what I wanted to get to y'all guys is I wanted to, they had a lot of people ask me, uh, <laughs> what did I, what did I look like with short hair? Oh, and by the way, I hope you love my new background. This is the best way to show you how I feel every day. Just pray to God. Amen. So what I did is let me bring up the screen so you can see these pictures. I brought out some pictures uh, for those that want to see it. I brought out some pictures uh, showing exactly um, parts of my life, just so you know who I am. This is a picture of me and my brothers when I was way younger. I'm this little one here. If it there it goes, focuses in, and just me and my three brothers, and that's just how I was growing up. If y'all have any of those plates left, <laughs> let me know because those are some plates. And as I got older, this is me here. This is my first frog that I caught. Uh, this is, I believe, when we lived in Kenner. I'm, as, as some people don't know, I'm from uh, Louisiana, Mandeville, originally. And then this is my first tire tube that I got stuck in and started crying like a little baby because I couldn't figure out how to get it off. <laughs> it was behind my shoulders. And then this is me becoming an altar boy when I was younger, devoting my life to God, my parents pointed me in the right direction. God bless them. They did a great job. This is another shot of me. Very proud of that. And then my father, which gave me great guidance in my life. A lot of people say he looks like Mario. <laughs> this is a very good, a very strong man right there. And then before I went into the military, this is what I look like. And don't mind the mess, because this is not my place. This was at a friend's house. <laughs> truthfully. But this is how I was before I went into the military. Uh, that's me with short hair, actually. I didn't grow the long hair until after the military. And here's a picture of me when I joined. I actually joined during uh, when Katrina was hitting New Orleans, hitting my hometown. I was actually in boot camp, so it was kind of war at home, war abroad, you know, so it was kind of strange times. Here I am with no hair. This was back in the boot camp days. This was at base. Uh, of course, it was uh, illegal to have a camera while you was in, in the, the boot camp area. This is in Fort Benning, Georgia for infantry. and uh, No drill sergeant. I'm actually lying if you're watching. <laughs> this is me with my battle buddies. I was known as uh, Pops. I was 31 years old and everybody else was 18 or 17 or somewhere around that age. Let's see if I can get this focused in. This was when I graduated. Let's see if you can see. It might not come in. Yeah, you can't see it real good. But that's me standing in front right there next to the drill sergeant. All right, let me see if I can point it out for you. That is me. And then this is my baby I grew up with. It was my black Great Dane with pointy ears. His name was Black Jack. He had white diamonds on his paws. Very good dog. He lived a very long time. Uh, matter of fact, Great Danes was supposed to only live eight years. And he lasted, uh, I believe it was 15 years. Uh, I had a hammock. Uh, I like a hammock. It was a, a thing that he laid on in the house. That's my boy. 
And it, it was pretty good on his hips. And I got medicine for his hips because big dogs like that get hip dysplasia. And this is actually the last photo I have for you guys. This is a three-generation photo. This is my father. This is my brother. He was a Marine. This is me when I got back from boot camp. And this is my nephew, Scotty. So this is actually three-generation Grimion photo. So that's me in a, in a nutshell. So kind of exposed out there. <laughs> now I want to read you something before you go for the night. Let me fix this back for you. Uh, give you all a little personal message that I looked up and I'd like to share with you guys. Let me lower this. I love that background. So this one's a little bit lengthy, lengthy but it Every word of God has a reason. He, the way he explains is thorough. So I'm going to read it to you. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I have preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he was seen in Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen, he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James. <clears throat> After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all he was seen of me also, as, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that am not that am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace which has bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some, you, some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. Ye and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if, not, if so be that the dead not rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ risen? And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins." Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we hope, if we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order Christ the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ's at his coming. Then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom of, of, to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down the rule and all authority and power. For he must reign, till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead? If the dead rise not at all, why are they then baptized for the dead? And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord. I die daily. 
If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage it me, if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness, and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. But some man will say, How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Thou fool, that which thou sowest is not quickened, except it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be, but bear a grain. It may chance of wheat or of some other grain. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beast, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars, for one star differeth from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead, it is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. There is also a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, The first man Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As, it, as is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as it is the heavenly, such, as, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. God bless you all, guys. Hope you have a safe night tonight. Whoever's watching this tomorrow, hope you have a great day today. Hit that like button for me. Share the word. Share the video. I do appreciate you. You know that. I'll see you all tomorrow. God protect everybody that is watching this video. Protect everybody that believes in you. Protect people that don't believe in you and are still searching for the truth. For you are the truth, the way, and the life. Amen. All glory does go to God. Amen.